A coroner has ruled that a man with mental illness took his own life as a direct result of being declared fit to work in an assessment on behalf of the Department for Work and Pensions. 60-year-old Michael O'Sullivan suffered from depression, anxiety and fear of open spaces. He received disability benefits for a decade before his capability assessment was carried out. It's reported the doctor who declared his ability to work had not asked him about his suicidal thoughts. The DWP has already revealed that an average of 90 people a month have died between 2011 and 2014 after they had been declared fit for employment by assessors. Well, Sarah Lyle is social policy researcher at the New Economics Foundation and she says the number of deaths linked to work assessments have been ignored for far too long. You can look up a thing called callumslist.org. Um, it's been compiled by an ex-police officer who's basically made a record of every death that has um, had a listed cause relating to benefit, benefit cuts um, by the coroner or by the GP. And it's up to 60 or 70 deaths now. Um, so this is mounting. And yet the DWP has been keen to stress that those figures of 90 deaths, as we mentioned mm. earlier, have no direct link to the imposed benefit sanctions. Well. They're certainly listed as causes of deaths by coroners and GPs. And then we've obviously had this uh, ruling today that it was actually a direct cause of death. So I think to deny that there's problems with the work capability assessment would be, you know, ignoring the facts. Who's responsible for the assessment? The doctor is criticising this particular report, but is it a team of people who in assess individuals' needs? So there's groups of assessors, and if you're someone who's receiving disability benefits, you might go for a work capability assessment and meet an assessor. And one of the big problems with, with that is that um, you know, we know that 40% of people who are going through these assessments have a mental health diagnosis, but only 2% of the assessors have any clinical experience of mental health. So, you know, of being able to diagnose it or understand the impacts. So they're being diagnosed with people who aren't really equipped to do it well.